Let's move on to practice now three. Now to solve this uh, question, you must understand the following. If the angle of X is between zero degrees and 180 degrees, and if sine X is positive, therefore the angle X can be acute or obtuse. So again, if x is between 0 degrees and 180 degrees, if the sine x is positive, x can be acute or obtuse. Now, for the same values of x between 0 degrees and 180 degrees, if the cosine of x is positive, therefore x is an acute angle. But if the cosine of x is negative, less than zero, therefore the angle x is obtuse. So let's try part A. Now part A for the angle between zero degrees and 180 degrees, sine x is given as 0 0.415, All right? So it goes like this. x is equals to the inverse sine of 0 0.415, which is equals to, you will get an angle of 24.519, which is approximately equals to 24.5 degrees because uh, angles have to be rounded off to the to 1 dp. Or, x can be equals to 180 degrees minus this angle that we've gotten, which is 24.519, and that is approximately equals to 155.481, which is approximately equals to 155. 5.5 degrees. So in this case here, therefore, x equals to the acute angle, 24.5 degrees, or 155.5 degrees. And that will be your answer. Let's try part B. Now with part B, we're given that cosine x equals to minus 0 0.2 3, 4. So all we have to do is this, inverse cosine, x equals to inverse cosine. Just take that whole negative value in, do an inverse cosine here, and you get this angle over here, 103.533, which is approximately equals to 103.5 degrees. And finally, for part C, cosine x equals to 0 0.104. In this case here, since the cosine of x is positive, therefore, the x equals to, just take the whole thing, 0 0.104, and you will get a value of 84.104. 0, 030, 0, which is approximately equals to 84.0 degrees.